in downtown Tampa. I'm going to tell you five reasons why the Pocket 2 is uh, the better option for vlogging when it comes to uh, cameras like the Sony a7 III or some of the other mirrorless cameras that are out there. I'm going to take some strolls to, to different corners uh, just to delay how long it takes me to get to um, Eddie and Sam's. Once again, the greatest pizza in Tampa. So I'm on auto settings. I am uh, using the Rode Wireless lav mic per usual and I'm talking aloud. And so some of the things I want to touch on in my short time while I'm still working out how to use this camera, I'm sorry for the poor lighting, but I'm on all auto settings, except I am using d like just because I want to see what kind of dynamic range we're talking about. So again, in an effort to um, sort of get comfortable with using this camera, what I want to kind of touch on are five different reasons why in the brief time I've had the camera, I've learned to appreciate it a little more than the Sony a7 III, which is something I've been vlogging with, and uh, really the Sony Alpha series in general. I was looking at the Sony a7S III, which is a beast of a camera, and undoubtedly one of the best video cameras you can get. But when it comes to vlogging, there's a couple things that you really kind of need or you could benefit from, and I'm gonna touch on some of those right now one is the learning curve um, learning the sony a7 III and the sony alpha series and the various picture profiles has been a bit of work um, over time i've gotten comfortable using them but it has taken time and the learning curve is much steeper pocket 2 literally pop it out of the, uh, the box, play around with it for a bit, and you've got yourself uh, kind of a run and gun set up fairly quickly with limited work, limited issue, limited problems, and obviously a limited learning curve. Number two, cost. The cost of the Pocket 2 is about 300 and change. If you get the creator combo, you're dealing with uh, much more uh, pack, you know, more expensive package. Sony A7 III currently is at 1,700 used, 1,500 used, maybe 2,000 brand new. Uh, Sony A7 III, my dream camera, 3,500. The Sony A1, which was just released, is an ungodly beast that I would probably give a limb for. But all that said, uh, that cost when you're just trying to put a camera in your face and chat. I mean, is it worth it? I, I, I don't know. I mean, you get benefits that are obviously clear and, and evident. Phenomenal picture quality, the ability to do all kinds of things. But I'd argue that for the money, for what you're trying to do vlogging, you could, you could get it done for, you know, a quarter of the price of a Sony a7 III or Sony a6600. Uh, would I still use the Sony a7 III? Absolutely, I still do. But the Pocket 2's cost is, is undeniable. Three, stability. Pocket 2 obviously comes with a gimbal. Uh, hopefully this footage is fairly stable. If it's not, this whole video is pointless. Um, but the gimbal, the included gimbal, look, when I, um, w w when I look at the Sony a7 III footage, it is awfully shake, shaky and unstable. Um, so again, looking at cost, looking at what you're trying to accomplish with a vlogging camera, uh, you know, for 349, three, 300 and change, plus, uh, you know, any additional add-ons that you wanna get, you're getting a really three axis gimbal and a really stable camera. Um, so maybe you're sacrificing the full frame thing and high dynamic range. It's really loud, so sorry about that. But you're gaining so much from a, from a stability, profit, uh, not profit, sorry, stability, a cost. Um, I forgot the others that I said, learning curve. So, I mean, it's a really... I'm standing clear. 
I heard you the first time, bro. We're doing a walk to Eddie and Sam's again in front of windows where people are looking at me. So here, that brings up another thing. So portability, right? When I break out the Sony a7 III and I'm trying to vlog with it, I'm literally pulling out a gimbal, uh, pulling out the camera, pulling out that Tamron 28 or 24 to 70, whatever it is, it's a beast. It's a heavy camera. <clears throat> Throw that up on a gimbal. Toss it up on a gimbal and you're dealing with a, a, la a heavy group of, uh, a heavy amount of gear that you've got to tote around. The ability to break this camera out, it's small, uh, it's, it's lightweight, there's not a ton of attention drawn. A lot of people probably think I'm talking to something other than a gigantic camera. I, I'm a little, I don't know about how secure some of you all are, are, but I'm a little, uh, you know, a little uneasy walking around talking to a giant camera, especially one that's on a gimbal. With the pocket, it doesn't, it's hard to tell what you're even talking to. So I think the portability, it's lightweight, it's, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not heavy to carry, and uh, it doesn't draw as much attention, which to me is, is a huge, huge benefit. So portability, cost, stability, flexibility, and learning curve. Flexibility, the, the consideration I had was just how this can be used for all sorts of different things. You can shoot 4K60, you can do hyperlapse, motion lapse, uh, you can learn on it quickly, and it can perform just as well as some of the other cameras um, that you would end up spending a ton for. So for 3,500, do I, do I want the Sony a7 III? Of course, do I want the Sony A1 for 6,500 if that's the price? 1,000%. But do I like having a small uh, little pocket-sized camera that can fit in my, my pocket? And uh, the quality looks good, it comes with the wide angle, it's got a wi wireless, uh, you know, microphone. I'm adding a whole bunch to the list other than five. I mean, with the creator combo, honestly, uh, it enhances the camera even more, enhances the value. Um, you, you've got all kinds of accessories you can add that, that lower the cost as well. Um, look, I've shot quite a few vlogs that I haven't even posted because ultimately the footage was too shaky. Uh, and that's on me, you know, gimbal issues aside and camera issues aside. Um, the pocket is stable, it's, it's solid. I mean, I'm still learning it, but uh, it does have a, a short learning curve and I'd highly recommend it for anyone interested in vlogging. Um, is it the best vlogging camera uh, around? I don't know, the GoPro was pretty solid, but quite honestly, that GoPro uh, media mod was nonsense in the version of eight. It may have gotten better since nine. Uh, Insta 361R, the mic was awful, uh, so bad that I moved on from it. Uh, Sony, I always love Sony, I always will be a Sony super fan. Um, but the pocket rocks, man. I think uh, if you don't have it, you should try it. Listen to those beautiful birds right there. You can hear that? I, I really genuinely like the pocket and I like all that it has to offer. And I think you will too if you're looking for a quick and easy, uh, you know, camera to learn, to, to, to master, to, to get down uh, and to sound and look good. I don't think you can go wrong with the, the DJI Pocket. I have, uh, I've never had the Osmo, never had the Osmo Pocket 1. I do have the DJI Mavic Air 2. I had the DJI Mini. I'd love the Mini 2, but I am a big fan of the DJI Pocket 2. So those are five-ish reasons why I think you should consider uh, go rolling with the Pocket over a Sony Alpha camera. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying in lieu of, but for vlogging, I think the Pocket is the winner. I mean, I could obviously do comparisons, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy, and honestly, it's a pain every time I lug out that, I gotta lug around that big Sony and the gimbal and everybody's looking at me and I look like a weirdo. I'm sure I look like a weirdo now, <clears throat> but I'm definitely seeing fewer people going, what's he doing, you know? Um, so anyways, feel free to comment on your thoughts about the, uh, the pocket or if you want to comment about, um, you know, anything relating to my love life, you can since that seems to be a thing. Uh, and, and, you know, I hope uh, you all stay happy and, uh, you know, content with your lives and stay safe. I'm going to throw on a mask. 
and go grab the best pizza in town. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. All that jazz. Peace. I just said peace, but I never say peace. So, like, uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share, uh, all that fun stuff. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts if you've used the Pocket 2 and if you like it. Those are five things. I've also got a couple things that I dislike. I'll probably do a video on that as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>